Hello guys, this is your boy Retro Boy World here at KRPG Fans Only Show playing Legend of the Ghost Line for the NES, a game published and I think developed by Chemco, and uh, we just played a, a Chemco game. We played a lot of Chemco games. This was before they kind of became their own company, more than a third party developer. And uh, you know, the games that they make nowadays are, aren't very good, but uh, back in the day they did have some pretty good game projects, so here's one of them. And I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a bit of fun of this game because this game is a bullshit Enix game. I don't know how they, I don't even think this is Enix. I lied. But how they somehow conversed Chemco into making this is still pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Maria's parents told her the legend of the white lion. Interesting. I always thought lions were brown. <laughs> Once upon a time, a great white lion attacked our village. Many soldiers tried to do it, uh, subdue it, but to, to no avail. But one young soldier summoned all his courage and threw his spear at the lion. The white lion disappeared. A cave at the end of the village of the village. At well, what? <laughs> a cave at the edge of the village, never to be seen again. We are about to embark on a journey to solve this mystery. How is it a mystery if you guys clearly just said what happened? I, I don't understand that. We're gonna solve this mystery, but there is no mystery to begin with. You guys are just abandoning, you guys are finding reasons to just abandon your child, basically. <laughs> There's no point in you doing this shit. You guys are just, just wanna abandon your child. Just, you know, if that's the case, then you could just set that from the jump. I'm calling CPS on everybody in this village. <laughs> Seriously. Mira decided to search for her parents and visit the village elders. You finally decided to start on a journey. The spirit holds the spirit of the young soldier. If you call upon the spirit, he will appear and help you. First, just to search for a special lamp. It will protect you. How are you going to send a 10-year-old child off with a spear and a wooden key? That doesn't sound safe at all. And no guide whatsoever. Like, first of all, I don't even know. Of all the games I've played, it's rare to see a woman hold a weapon, so I, I'm a little happy for that. But uh, third of all, uh, she's 10 years old. <laughs> she hasn't even hit puberty, and you wanted to fight demons with a wooden, a spear and a wooden key. That key probably is going to break the minute she uses it. Just, I don't even know. I'm not, I'm not going to go too, too depth with that, but, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, this game is giving me nightmare fuel. It reminds me of Heracles no Ikyo all over again. Well, you know how bad that game was. So let's look at the commands. We have speak, goods, which is our items. Look is obviously to search. And vigor is, I'm guessing, your stats. Uh, so hope one would be with your level. Courage would be the amount of MP you have, I guess. Dream, I... Oh, well, courage would be your health, and then dream would be... Uh, I guess your MP for summoning things. This game is like, um, fuck. I don't know. It's been a while since I played an NES game that required you to summon. I mean, I mean technically, Akuma Kun was the same way, but that was, that's a totally different game. So I mean, you can't you can't blame that. You can't use that game for shit. Let's open the wooden door. Let's continue on now. So the fighting mechanics in this game are similar to that of Akuma Kun, where you have special guys that you summon, and they fight for you. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and go up here, because we want this chest. So that's the lamp that also activates another summon. And uh, it's Tawana and uh, Omoji, or Moja. Some shit like that. I don't remember, I haven't played this game in nine years. Literally, I counted. And it's been a while since I played an NES game, so I'm so happy to get back into this. But uh, yeah, so this bridge is gonna collapse in front of us. And it's funny because it, it, it like, it suddenly ruptured, but like, how were you, how did it rupture where you, a violent current, but you're swimming so casually? I've never known that violent currents make you swim at like plus three speed compared to an actual current that makes you swim at like nine speed. <laughs> like, how the fuck? Oh, yeah, here's the Heracles vibe where we come in contact with fairies. 
please search for this kind of springs. Our friends will increase your courage and magnify your dreams. How how are you gonna do that? You're gonna give me a mag a magnum condom and dream that it works, or you're gonna do something about it? <laughs> Seriously. Might you be someone from the world of humans? I mean, I got a spear. I don't got wings, so I mean, kind of put two and two together there, st stupid beanie fuck. <laughs> There's one in there. There's no one there. Oh, hold on. There you go. Please write about your journey at each site. When you enter the world of darkness, your last record will help you. Also, gather up hope and your dreams and courage will grow. When you lose your courage, you will become part of the darkness. If you have dreams, many spirits will help you. I think I need help going to a psychiatrist because this is clearly not normal for a kid. For all I know, I'm probably going through a, like a PTSD traumatic experience where my parents left me, so I go on this magical journey to find them and to find out that I'm still at, I'm still at home, drunk, off of intoxication dreams. It's called a spear. It's summon out Moja. So he's the guy that speared the white line, which is interesting because they never really have black characters on um, games. <laughs> so every time you summon something, it has power. Now you lose this power by either uh, you can summon multiple spirits at once. I don't know what the max cap is, but you can summon the spear and the lamp. So there's Twana. Or Twina. And uh, if you fight, you lose power. You defend, you lose power. You get hit, you lose power. You lose power regardless of what you do. You're basically on time. So Flash would blind an enemy, and Needle is actually the damaging attack. So we're going to use Needle. The Mojo is going to be the one. Oh, no, actually, Twain killed it. And she looks nothing like the cover art, which is very depressing. Here's the first town of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and talk around. This is the town of bread. That's that's that, that's stupid. <laughs> the fuck? I'm guessing the next town is butter. <laughs> and toast. T -t 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 toast. My grandfather told me that tears can make your dreams great. No. Tears can make you not want to dream anymore. How about that? What did you want to bread? Bread, of course. I'm surprised your bread is not your most expensive item in this town. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. I can't buy shit, so why are you even offering me anything? You see the gold in my pockets, bro. Don't start that shit. Okay, apparently, apparently you can rock over rocks, but shrubbery is a different, you know, a different thing. Shrubbery is apparently so dense that you can't even bump into it properly. After passing through the cave of the giants, at the southern part of this island and reaching the werewolf's territory, you drop by Davis, which has mushrooms. Hold the fuck on, say that again. After passing through the cave of giants, at the southern part of the island, and reaching the werewolf's territory, drop by Davis, which has mushrooms. That, that, that does not make any sense, bro. Like, at all. You're, you're stupid. You're stupid as fuck. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm, I don't have time to deal with you. Hey, you... Don't you dare turn your back on me. Bitch, turn back around. You turn back around at this instant. Stop. You turn back around. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You, uh, fuck you, then. You don't wanna <laughs> I'm a pretty ten-year-old girl. How dare you not look at me. Why is nobody questioning why a 10 year old girl popped up at the village with a spear and a wooden key? That's that's kind of weird. That makes like seem like this happens quite often, which is even more scarier than I thought. If the Stardust in the Goblin Caves is returned to its dais, I will be able to pass through the cave. So? My grandfather told me to already that fuck you. I already talked to you, bitch ass. I don't need you. I don't need you. No leave me. There's an evil goblin in a cave near here. If I don't get it, I won't see my family in Davis. You 
pink haired bitch. <laughs> no time to talk to you. Yeah, and your your blue ass bastard seats and shit. Blue bastard. Oh, fuck. oh wait, hold on. You need blue haired bastard. I have not eaten anything for three days. Could you give me some bread that Fuck you. You better work for that shit. You better win. I'm not giving shit for free. I need to eat too, old woman. Your time is up. I I I need bread. And butter. <laughs> shit. Alright, let's talk to this fucker since he wants to be a dick. No, now you wanna speak to me. Fuck your shit. I don't wanna ride on that shit. Anyways, so there's nothing else more that we can do here entirely. It's pretty much the end of the village here. Uh, all we can do is leave and uh, go search for that ruby. Which obviously will be somewhere over here in this cave. Dragon Quest? Yes, this is Dragon Quest. <laughs> Akira Toriyama, who, made, who helped make the character designs on Dragon Quest, also helped make Dr. Slump. And uh, Gogo -Go Aquaman, and uh, Blue Dragon, and uh, Dragon Ball Z. He pretty much put an effort into this game, as far as I'm concerned. From what I've heard, he's attempted to. Not quite sure if he has, but he tried. Put that out there. I have a dagger, so I can also attack. So keep that in mind. Now, attacking yourself isn't a good idea. We're gonna save state here because you don't do as much damage. Three damage, that's nearly not enough to do anything, so it's gonna cost your mo uh, moja or your moja from smite. And these guys fight for you. And when they die, that means you don't be you basically don't take any damage from them, so they're basically like spirit contracts. And uh, they kill enemies for you and you just don't take any damage to the point where you lose them at one point of the game and where you gotta fight with your whatever weapon you have currently equipped. So, uh, yeah. So we go ahead and get this item off the bat. And here's the rubies that he was talking about. But uh, we're not gonna go back to him quite yet because there is more for this cave to be explored about. So always call your soldiers out. You big ass Zeus, motherfucker. We're gonna use Flash to show that off. Their vision is fucked up, so their attacks are less accurate, but at the same time, I feel like they're it's the same shit. That's what dead ass zombie. Okay, these these color palettes are like really fucking ugly if I have to say they're fucking as shit and if I have to just throw it out there now grinding in this game isn't entirely necessary but you, you're gonna need to do it at one point if you don't if you wanna stay ahead of the competition it's always good to grind even if games don't require it oh that's the same thing I did for Magic Knight Raiders I just I, I didn't need to grind the levels were going to handle, handle gradually, but I had to because to do a professional let's play, you got you to gotta make sure that you just wreck everything in your, you know what I'm saying, just kill shit, basically. Just kill shit, kill shit, and kill more shit until the shit smells so bad you can't kill it anymore. And needle dick on a cobalt. And he's a dead cobalt. We can get this last treasure chest. I wouldn't say last, but uh, let's go and say that this is um, close to. Uh, yeah. There will be more treasure chests. Trust me. A skeleton appeared. Interesting. Let's go ahead and call out the spear. The spear is going to do a lot more damage than uh, Zeus over there. 
He's probably from Yoruba history or myth mythology or folklore. Someone has to do with Yoruba or Polynesian. Yeah, let's double tap. So summoning these guys does require you to use your dream. If you run out of that, you can no longer summon anymore. And I think it goes in by two, so uh, each summon costs one dream. So keep that in mind, if you over abuse it, you know, you'll be fucked. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this let's play, because it's been so long since I've seen a Legend of Ghost Lion let's play, so I've decided to be the person that does it, because I do what other people don't. You want me to return to Stardust? If you really want it, steal it from my treasure box. So we're gonna fuck this guy up real quick, and this will be the end of the episode for part one at least. And part two, we will go ahead and return to shit that, uh, yeah, get on that boat, especially, because obviously. This music is pretty intense, I'm lucky getting like chills and shit. Alright, let's use Bomb. So your spirits do gain levels when you gain Stronger Dream. Now Bomb is pretty effective, but uh, unfortunately he defeated the Goblin before I can actually use the ability. So next time we get into a battle, we're going to use uh, Twana. Twana. Okay, now was a good time to show it off, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. And Dark is pretty good, it's no different from Flash. And that is one dead ass fucking orc. It is so overpowered, we're gonna use that for like a good majority of this section. So we found the Stardust, we found the Rubies. So we have enough to complete our mission and go on to the next level of this uh, game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And as always, fans, till next time, I will see you guys with part two of Legend of the Ghost Lion.